Blimey O'Reilly, it's time for another video. Today, we're going to be making a planetary simulation using the P5 JavaScript library. It's going to be very, very simple, very, very fun, very, very colourful. So, uh, the animated image, I'm not going to the GIF GIF thing, because uh, we're not getting into that debate now. The animated image you see on the screen, the little video, uh, is what we're going to be making today. Um, as you can see, there's the sun, there's Mercury, Earth, and you probably can't see it, but right at the very edge of the solar system there is Pluto. Um, and we're going to be making this. It's not going to be to scale because otherwise you would need a resolution that is very, very large. Um, so we're going to make it like this, where you sort of get a gist of everything that's, that's actually in the solar system in terms of planets. We're not going to be adding moons, but it's going to be very simple. So let's let's go. So first file you need is the index.html file. Um, I'm just going to put this in the GitHub. It's this is all you need. You need to load in um, p5, p5 dom, and then we're going to have a JavaScript file called sketch, and we're going to have a JavaScript um, file called planet. I will mention now that much of the sort of idea, not the idea as such, but um, I got a lot of my p5 javascript knowledge from daniel schiffman of the coding train so this might be similar to i think he's done a video similar to this in the past but I've, I've sort of changed somewhat what he's done but i'm doing my own little thing here so here we go so i'm going to go to terminal and we're going to first create the sketch file so the first thing we're going to create in the sketch file is we're going to create uh, an empty array and we're going to call it planets like so. Um, we're going to be using this later. We're going to then use the function setup which is part of p5.js. We're going to create a canvas. Canvas. Call it 800 by 800. Then what we're going to be doing is we are going to, let's think about this, what do we need to do? Oh, actually, let's make sure the thing's actually running. Uh, so we need to do CD desktop, and we need to go to wherever I've put this, which is there. Um, Node.js has this wonderful thing called live server. Run that command, and it will bring up what we currently have going on. So we can soon see. What's going? What's going on here? And that's the uh, uh, your main file. So every time there's a change and we save a file in our directory, this live server is going to re-update things to make it work well. So I have done something wrong immediately. We haven't done anything wrong yet. So this is fine. Function setup. We're going to create a canvas. And we also have to create some other stuff, which will be great. So we also need to have a function called draw. And you draw this, and we say let's say background fifty one. Uh, hopefully, there we go. We now have a canvas with a background of sort of medium grey, and now we can start putting stuff on there, which is all good. So let's think about what we need to do. What do we need to do? Hmm. Well, let's okay. Let's let's first create a sun. So I'm going to translate width divided by two, and then height divided by two. It's going to be centered. We're going to say fill, and I want it to be yellow, which is something along these lines. Then we need to say, I don't want a stroke, or I don't think it will have a stroke. Oh my god, I can't spell. Create an ellipse. Say zero, zero, um, because we've just translated. So then we need to say, hmm, let's say 45 pixels. Thing. Yeah, 45 pixels, that's about right. This is, this is all good. So right now we already have the sun in the center of our solar system. 
So now we're going to start need to create. We're going to need to create some planets. Um, so the first thing we're really going to need to do is create the planet class. So back to our terminal application, and we're going to say atom planet dot js. We'll throw that in there, and we'll uh, we'll create the class planet. And we'll create the constructor, and we'll give it a radius, distance. So this is going to be the distance from the sun. It needs to have an orbit speed, and we want to have it give it a color. I'm spelling it the American way, and I know that is terrible, but I'm spelling it the American way. But yeah, so we're going to say this radius. Oopsie daisy is equal to the radius we pass it. This angle is equal to. Oh, this angle is going to be equal to random 2 pi. Yeah, random 2 pi. Might have to change that in a minute. Random 2 pi. And that's basically going to be the starting point of the planet. And you, you'll see what I mean. Because all the planets start in different places, and that's where that random bit comes in. Distance. Uh, this dot orbit speed is equal to you guessed it orbit speed this dot color is equal to color okay um, we also need a call the method show what we need to first do is push and we need to end the method with pop that basically I don't know how best to explain that. Basically, what happens is we sort of create a state and then exit without having saved the state with this method. Although that's not a very good explanation. But there we go. Fill. We're going to fill what we make with this dot color. We're going to rotate by this dot angle. Every time we call that, we're going to translate. By this dot distance, yes, and we're going to create the ellipse at the the point which we currently at because we're using translate. We don't need to actually say that, so we're going to give it a radius there. Okay, um, this now means we can create our planet in Sketch.js, and all we then need to do is sort of um, start animating things. So here we go. First thing we need to do is go to. I'm going to go to setup for this. Um, we're going to define some colors. They have to be defined in either setup or draw, purely because color is only defined in setup and draw. It's part of P5JS, and it's, it won't work if we say, like, you know, color over here outside of the function so we need to call it here so let's first create a mercury and we'll say mercury color is equal to color um, something like that we'll change that mercury color then let's create mercury so we want to say mercury is equal to a new planet so this is going to call that constructor, which means we need to pass over a few things to it. Okay, so we need to pass over hmm, the, the size, so we need to pass over the size of the radius, then we need to pass over the distance, and then we need to pass over an orbit speed, so something like that, and then we need to pass over the color. Okay, so we've created the planet. We have given it this. Why have I put size? I don't know why I have just written size. There's no, there's no variable there. Um, let's give it the size 12. 12 pixels. That's the the radius. Okay, so what we need to do is we're going to put it into a, an array. So 
we'll pop it into that array. So we say planets is equal to Mercury. And then in the draw function, what we're going to do is we're going to say for i in planets, um, planets i dot show. And I think if we now go over to our thing, we can see, oh, look, we have Mercury there. There's a little Mercury. Uh, it's not moving yet. And the reason it's not moving is because we haven't actually put in um, the orbit function. So when we put in the orbit function and then call the orbit function, it will work perfectly well. We'll have an orbit around the solar system. So let's go ahead and do that. So back to planet.js, we need to come under here and we need to say orbit. So create this little thing. And this is really simple. What we say is this the angle. Um, we want to then say this angle and then no, 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 no. This the orbit speed. Speed. I think that's that's right. That that should work. So then, if we go back to sketch.js, what we're then going to do is in this bit we're going to say planets i um, dot orbit, and hopefully that should work. There we go. We have Mercury orbiting um, the sun at that speed. Um, and if let's say we wanted to make it further away from the sun, we could just say uh, no, 134, and I just saved it. So it, it, what happens is you as you save each file, as I've mentioned with the live server, as I save it, it automatically reloads. So we're going to do that. So what I'll do next is I will do the next planet, so you can see how we're going to do the next planet, how it's going to go, and then from there on, I will go through the, the rest of the planets without putting them on video and then you'll be able to see the finished product and I'll put the code in the github so let's actually let's do earth earth because you know earth is a good one so let's define the color so we say earth color now obviously because Carl Sagan called it a pale blue dot it's going to be a pale blue dot is what we're going to call this one so what color do we want the earth we want the color to be uh, 47, 82, 229, okay, and then let's say Earth, new planet, mm, size, let's think of the size, well, the size is bigger than, it's bigger than Mercury, as we know. Um, the radius in kilometers, if anyone's interested, is 6,371 kilometers. And the first guy to work out the circumference of the Earth was a Greek guy called Eratosthenes. He did that in like 200 BC. Very, very clever man. So, uh, we need to do the distance next, which obviously is going to be further away from. Not 82. Off. 82 might be too far. Let's try 82. Let's see what 82 says. We might want to put it further away, we might want to put it closer. Speed, you want to make the speed a little bit slower. Um, the reason you want to make it slower is because the speed is, we defined it as uh, basically the angle plus the orbit speed, which basically means that. Although they are changing angles at a constant rate, the further out you go in the circle, the faster they will appear to go at the same speed, um, which is very odd. So you want to, as you move out through the planets of the solar system, you want to make the speed a bit slower. So Earth color, I think that's all good. We then need to add Earth to our little array. The reason we have a little array here is so that we can just run this for loop over here and then we don't have to just call show and orbit on every single planet each time we can just run a for loop. And there we go, there's the Earth and as you can see it does appear to be moving quite quickly um, and I think that's a quite a nice speed for it to be going although maybe we could do with being going a bit slower but there we are. What we're going to do next I'm going to turn off the video, I'm going to finish the rest of this code and then you'll be able to see the finished product in Chrome, it'll be very good, very fun, so don't mind if I diddly do.
Okay, so now I have finished doing this. Um, we go back to Chrome, we suddenly have the working example again. As you can see, we have all the planets there. We've got Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and all the way out here, which is really hard to see, is little old Pluto. So, thank you very much for watching. The code will be in the GitHub, so you can have a gander at that. Have a little goosey-goosey gander. And uh, if, any, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments box below.